Jared Stabler, um, I am Division of RDO and Gray Controls. Um, I am a laser machine control drone Carlson specialist. <laughs> yeah. We do everything. Uh, Billings, Montana. This is a central area for Montana. Um, we were actually first repair center in Billings, Montana. So uh, a lot of our day is repairing customer work. So if they bring a laser in and they drop it, we can repair it, get quotes out or what needs to be replaced, repaired, or if it just needs a clean and calibrate, we could do that. Um, you know, we also do drones. We, if they crash it, we could bring it in. We can either fix them or swap them out to a different wing. Um, we do Carlson also, the mining, landfill, um, and then some construction. Uh, you know, we do all the pre-sales. So we get everything ready to go here before it gets out into the field. So when it gets out into the field, all they gotta do is put it on the machine, calibrate it, uh, measure it up, and then they're good to go. We deal with uh, between Topcon, Trimble, Leica, Carlson, um, Panasonic, um, Wingtra. We used to do Sensefly. I mean, we, we do we do it all. So this is our laser collimator. Uh, we calibrate all of our rotating lasers on here, our pipe lasers. Uh, if we do pre-sales, like we get all these brand new lasers in from Topcon. We go through them, we calibrate them, make sure they're good to go before we give them to the customer. If they need to be calibrated, we get it calibrated pretty much dead on. Um, same with pipe lasers, rotating lasers. I mean, you can do any kind of laser on here. Triple, Leica, Topcon, um, any pipe lasers. So this is our kind of bread and butter of our laser uh, collimator. Uh, this one is our elevating uh, collimator. So uh, Rob, and myself, I don't do much of them, but uh, we do a lot of uh, total stations on here, lasers. Um, we kind of use the total stations for shooting uh, different air or different uh, prisms, but mostly we use it for dual plane lasers or dual sloping lasers to get the elevation like positive five, positive 10, negative 10, negative five. Make sure that the slope on the laser is good and dialed in. Um, Rob uses it for millimeter also. This is the whole millimeter setup. He calibrates all the millimeter lasers for when you're doing like millimeter concrete, millimeter paving, uh, things like that. So this is a Topcon GT robotic total station. Uh, we'll use them for both in-house use for calibrating machines, the newer smart grade and massless machines coming to the market. And then our customer base will also be using them for land surveying, for running machines that are using a prism instead of GPS antennas, and for other monitoring situations where they need precision distance and angles. So one thing that separates us as RDO and the Billings location is we can take a instrument that's coming new from Topcon, we can make sure it's calibrated, we can set up for the customer's specific use. And then we can also, when they do need, whether it's a general calibration or it does need a repair, we can do full calibrations for full repairs in-house at this location. So this is a test stand that we've built for some of the machine control components. So if a customer has a sensor that they suspect is malfunctioning or defective, we can quickly put it on the car, plug it into a known good system and see how it is functioning, if it is doing its job properly. So this also goes back to the robotic total stations for the repairs and calibrations. Uh, with robotic total stations, they'll do angles, they'll do electronic distance measurements, and they will move by themselves to stay on a prism. This collimator will do both the electronic distance measurements and the tracking for the prism system. This one moves more to our rotating lasers and the millimeter lasers. For lasers that have a vertical beam, we use this collimator to calibrate that beam and to align the rotary head of lasers. The last collimator in the system is what's called the trunnion collimator. So for some of the lasers that are dual sloping, dual axis, 
After we get through calibrating each individual axis, this collimator will align the two axes together. So another product line that we service here in the building store is our Wingtra UAV. It's a vertical takeoff, vertical landing autonomous drone. We'll, the customers will use them for land surveying, for doing pile volumes, for flying a mine site to see how the mine is changing on a day-to-day -day basis. So Wingtra is the main one that we sell and service. There's also a drone manufacturer out of the Bozeman, uh, out of Bozeman, Montana, that RDO works with to manufacture a drone specifically for RDO. The RDR1 and the RDR2. These are our G3A1M antennas. Uh, these are basically used for machine control, um, your excavators, do dozers, motor graders. Um, we use these you know, on your 2D systems to MCR through, or, uh, MC squared systems. Um, so those are basically for a machine control. And then this one is also for machine control also, but this is your millimeter one, um, PZSMC. Um, this you know, you use a total station on this, or you can use, or excuse me, not total station, you use a uh, uh, the millimeter lasers. So when you're going through a job site, they got a couple millimeter lasers set up. A lot of people use it for concrete, but a lot of people are getting into dirt work with millimeter, like an airport. You need to have millimeter on an airport because the airport or tolerances are within 300, or yeah, 3 hundredths. Um, and you have to meet that criteria, otherwise you get dinged or sometimes they're like, nope, we gotta mill it out, make sure it's 300, because it's gotta be spot on. Uh, this one, this is an older unit, this is BX6, but we now have a new one, BX7. But this is for our mining application, we use it on dozers, uh, shovels, um, uh, we used to use it on pile drivers, but now we have a new pile driver system that uses kind of three A45 antennas that kind of look like this, but they're more circular. Um, but this one has two antennas in it. It's got a radial and a slope sensor. So we put this on a dozer and it gives us a full GPS system on a dozer out in a mine site or in a landfill. So re-radiator, we have our GPS antennas right here. We actually have a, pretty much an antenna that's bringing the satellites from the outside into the building here. So when it gets negative 20 here, we don't have to walk our behinds out in the cold and freeze. We can actually come in here and you can see right here, it's actually collecting satellites in the building. Um, the green are US satellites and they'll switch to orange and those are actually Russian satellites. We can collect more satellites, but this is an older unit to where we don't. But if you come over here, we can actually go fixed on our machines. So green is great, but if you go that GPS info, position, or excuse me, satellites. These are all the satellites we're collecting from the outside um, with that re-radiator system. So we can actually get a system to go green and fixed, and that's how we do our pre-sales. We test them, make sure they're good to go before they get out of the field. Make sure your sensors are working, make sure your antenna's working, make sure the control box is working, so it doesn't fail when it gets out into the field.